think the main challenge for startups is what channel should I advertise on or work, right? Because there is so many. There is um, Facebook, Google, SEO, PR, inbound marketing, email marketing. Like most questions that I come across for entrepreneurs and startups is like, what is the channel that I should go after first and second and third? So, um, and then, so most of the challenge is how do I prioritize my channels? How do I attack um, the channels that have the most volume um, at the lowest cost per acquisition price? And that's a challenging problem. And the one, one huge way that they can solve is, uh, is, is by testing. So one is like figure out a matrix um, that you can rank each channel by volume, cost, you know, ability for the channel to target it precisely, as well as, you know, if you have a budget for it, right? Can you estimate, do you have the talent and the budget to do that? When once you have a priority, there is no, you know, silver bullet or the right answer. You'll have to test each channel, run two or three experiments on each channel and conclude. So channel, which channel to distribute the product is one. I think the second biggest challenge for startups has been that they don't know if the product will work at scale. Will the product features, messaging, and all, all the attributes of the product, uh, will it work and scale? So they're testing, they're constantly testing the product and the distribution and the growth at the same time. And the way to address the MVP problem is also kind of experimenting. So you, you have to combine channel experiments with uh, you know, writing text, right? Because uh, the ads would have text and the landing page would have text when you test a channel. So you can, you can test your pricing, value proposition, and all those things in conjunction with the channel. And these experiments will help you clarify what's actually working and what's not. At earlier stage, when you barely don't even have the, you know, the early adopters in place, you don't have even the basic uh, minimal viable product figured out. Investing too early in these channels uh, might waste your money because you don't have a product that gives uh, a good experience to the user. You don't need to have a full product, but you know, as they call it, uh, MVP, a minimal viable product, a product that can make some sets of users happy. They don't have to make everybody happy in the world. So when you don't have that and you start spending money on Facebook ads and AdWords and you know distribution, then it can hurt you and it may even uh, ruin your brand name. Um, but as you have a baseline product, then growth hacking is really helpful to do a lot of things, not only growth, but also improving the product or the service.